Hello and welcome back to another video. We're at the QE2 in Ashton now, up in Northumberland, fishing for pike, no less. Pike has always been like a dream for me to catch. I used to remember being a little child, Christmas day, watching John Wilson catching pike and all sorts of stuff, but I loved the pike. And uh, always wanted to catch one, a decent one. Doesn't have to be massive, four or five pound would do. I actually fished the same water about well, maybe probably about 35 years ago now with some little tiny Rapala lures and caught a tiny little jack pike. I'll stick a picture up and uh, I think I caught two that day, same size. And I never registered as I've caught a pike. I want, a, I want a pike I can hold, something that I'm scared to put my hand in the gills, etc. etc. So we've got the first bait out, I've got the rod on the rod rest and the bite alarm over there. I've got a half beak with a couple of trebles in. On a wire trace, got braid. Um, I've just matched this gear together. It's a very, very cheap setup. Um, I got the rod the other day. It's just a cheap fiberglass NGT rod. I think I got for fourteen ninety-five. I got the reel for something like twelve pound ninety-five. Um, yeah, it was just, just a cheap setup. Get out. I've got eighty pound braid on. Maybe a bit heavy, but I had it. Savage gear. Um forgot the proper name of it. But yeah, some 80 pound braid on, 50 pound wire trace. So I think I'll be able to pull in anything that's here. Unless the rod snaps with it only being 14.95. But yes, I've got the unhooking mat, I've got landing net, I've also got as part from the, the half beaks, I've also got some mackerel and some joey. Joey? Bluey, who's joey? But yeah, so we'll just see what happens. First bait in, I'll let it go. Let it sit there for a bit. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just cast it straight out and we'll hope for the best. I'm hoping for, for a fish first cast, as in my last two videos. I very much doubt it, but if I do, I'm probably gonna have to change my channel name. It's lovely and quiet, yeah. It's like, a, um, I think it's about 40 acre lake. Um, it's run by the Wands Beck and Cramlet and Angling Club. It was uh, eight pound to fish for the day. I, on a day ticket, you can pick them up from Billy's down in North Shields or from McDermott's in Ashton. It's a lovely little place, quiet. We've got a free car park. There's no facilities here. Um, there's a pub on site. I was going to get the drone up, and I don't know if I'll be able to. With it. It's a bit windy today. Um, it's actually forecast for rain. I've got my brolly. I've actually got a little bivy as well, just in case. But yeah, just trying my luck, like I always seem to be doing. Nice again, just to be out. Catching fish, hopefully. Put you back on if anything exciting happens. Fingers crossed. Watch that line. Ah. I'm not sure how long you meant to leave your dead baits in before you move them or change them or whatever. I think what I'm going to do is it's been out there for about 35, 40 minutes. I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to pierce the air, pierce the bait, replace it somewhere else. Maybe try a bit closer in towards the reeds. Is that what you do? I don't know. Comments below. Any tips, help, advice, please. I need to catch a pike this year. It's a dream, it's a dream. Well, nothing as yet. Still on the first bait. Still no rain yet, touch wood. Not that I'm bothered. I actually quite like it when it rains when I'm fishing. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. I think I forgot to mention it's a ledger dead bait. I haven't put the float out today. It's quite a bit of breeze. I didn't want it being towed all over the lake. So, so far, nothing to report. But that's pike fishing. Well, it is nice to have a bit of sunshine, but I feel like bright sunshine is not great for pike fishing. 
could be wrong mind could be wrong I'm sure I've read somewhere that overcast was better which is why I came today because it's meant to be wet overcast bit of chop on the water all the good things you need and now I'm getting a suntan typical typical right second bait going on juicy headless mackerel on a wire trace as usual see how that goes I wish I had half a clue but we're fishing for pike it's all fun that was the first bait fish call a half beak hopefully they'll prefer the mackerel well they say be careful what you wish for because that sunshine and that's not sunshine and that's heading this way maybe I am going to get wet after all <laughs> Well, the wind's picked up, so I've got the brolly up just to keep the wind off us. Just doing my head in, blowing everything all over the place. Yeah, still nothing yet. I've still got the uh, headless mackerel out. Um, no beeps, no touches, no nothing. So I know pike fishing is a waiting game, and I know people have told us that this uh, this water is actually quite tough to get them out, but. I did speak to somebody the other day who said his friend had had four out in a day, so that he was fishing smelt. I don't know if that makes a difference or what, but I don't have any smelt, so I'll have to just use what I've got. Anyway, let's hope this brolly doesn't blow away. I'm going to cry. It's trying to. <laughs> As per last time, actually not last time, but the time before, I uh, was very excited about coming fishing here again. So I've had, I think, three hours sleep or something last night. So again, I'm absolutely shattered. Hence why I don't have a lot of pizzazz. But uh, yeah, it's great fun. Just need a fish now, wake me up. Just wondering, do you guys fish for pike? Have you seen anything I'm doing that's wrong or? I don't know. If you do fish for pike, put in the comments below what is your personal best. The method you use to catch it and what venue you get it from, if you don't mind sharing. Just interesting, I like to, I want to travel about a bit and do some fishing, so if there's anywhere that I might be going, obviously I can have a look. But yeah, any hints, tips, advice? I'm casting in the middle of the lake, I've cast in the edge of the lake, which is better. Time of day, I got here as early as I could, I really wanted an earlier start, but with having no, hardly any sleep, I just couldn't get up. Yeah. All advice is very much welcome. All comments very much welcome. And if you want to give a subscribe and a like, even better. Well, it's just not. I'd rather have the advice. This bait's been out. Best part of an hour now. I'm going to bring it back in. Cast it closer in again. See if they like it like that. Don't think they're hungry today, to be fair. Damn it. very weedy I don't know if you can see where that one went I just plopped it in it's just there at the end of those reeds trees, bushes, whatever they are see if that helps probably not <laughs> right, I just brought that mackerel back in again Put a few slices down the flanks, try and release some more scent into the water and I've just belted it out into the middle again, see what happens. Getting no touches anywhere so, and I don't know what I'm doing, we'll see what happens. Just want that bite alarm to go screaming off and my heart's going to go
Well guys, if you're watching this, I've blanked. It's not fun, but it happens. Part and parcel of fishing. If it was easy, everybody would do it, wouldn't it? But I was unsure whether to put this video out or not, but I think I will. Um, can't just show all the victories. Sometimes you've got to show all the defeats as well. The losses. But yeah, I will be back. I will get a pike this year, if it's the last thing I do. So yeah, a blank unfortunately. What to do next time? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go fly fishing next time or what. You'll have to ding the bell, find out, like, subscribe, share, all that sort of jazz. And uh, give us a thumbs up. You can give us a thumbs down. It all helps the algorithm. It, means, it makes no difference to me. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Hopefully with a fish next time. Here we go. Bye-bye now.